from the beginning. That's what I'm talking about. From the beginning. From the Rockville campus of Montgomery College, Montgomery College Television presents NJCAA College Volleyball with the Montgomery College Raptors welcoming the Mustangs from Monroe College from Bronx, New York. Hi, everybody. I'm Michael Brown alongside my partner, Andre Anderson, and we are just about set to get to uh, the match underway, uh, it's going to be a heck of a challenge for Montgomery College. It is. It is. I mean, MC 7-3 and three on the year so far, 5-1 and one September. They're doing very well, especially uh, in this month. Now, don't get mistaken by the 7-8 and eight record uh, by Monroe. They've been playing a lot of powerhouses throughout this country. A lot of the games have been on the road as well. So it looks like maybe they're doing not too well, but it's actually the opposite for them. Well, they uh – they are a, a D1 team that plays one of the toughest schedules in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, they do a lot of traveling. It's a very well-funded program. Mm -hmm. they, they travel up and down the East Coast. Uh, they play teams in Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina. They, they will play anyone, anywhere, literally. Uh, last year, they had a, had a terrific year, and they went all the way to nationals. Of course, the Raptors did, too. So we are all set to get underway, and here we go. Fast-moving game, and the first point goes to the Mustangs. It's going to be a fast-moving, high-paced game. We know Monroe loves to do a lot of the, a lot of sets, a lot of uh, very powerful spikes as well. So this is going to be a. Here's the set, and it's long. So it's two quickly, two nothing, in favor of Monroe. So Monroe last season, uh, they did play Montgomery College. They swept the Raptors in three sets, mm -hmm. but every set was close. So I, I think that's, you know, this is a measuring stick game, I think, for the Raptors, a challenge game. Yeah, I was going to say, this game is all about the inches. I mean, hits just like that can be right on the line, right in, it can be right out. I mean, it's all about accuracy, and uh, it's going to come down to that today. All right, so the Raptors will serve, and that is number 19, Megan Wessling, with the serve. Battle at the uh, net, blocked. Good set. Comes a kill, Ooh. and that's going to be another point for the Mustangs. Mustangs head coach is... Um, Neftali Delgado Reyes, he has been at uh, Monroe for 11 seasons, uh, has taken the team to nationals uh, several times. And I remember hearing a very interesting, what is his, uh, his uh, record again? Uh, it was like 200 and something. Yes, his uh, career record at Monroe is 292 wins, 86 losses. Wow. So he's been there a long time. Um, he took the team from D2 to D1. Mm -hmm. uh, he has won 10 district championships, nine regionals. They've been to the national tournament seven times. Um, he's from Puerto Rico, and he's a highly revered coach uh, from Puerto Rico. So he's definitely turned this uh – this program into a powerhouse. I mean, he, he might be the catalyst for that for sure. And another interesting side note is that this is the first season that Monroe is going to have men's volleyball, and he's going to be the head coach for that as well. Oh, wow. So uh, uh, he's uh, Mr. Reyes certainly has his hands full. And there is a uh, big 
kill there by number nine, uh, Darlenes Olivo. Raptors head coach is in her first season, uh, but she is no stranger to Maryland Juco volleyball. Patty Westenberg is uh, the head coach for the Raptors. Uh, like I said, in her first season here. However, uh, she was, prior to coming to Montgomery College, she was the head coach at Frederick Community College. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, she was there from 2017 to 2022. So, and then prior to that, she was an assistant at Wayne State. So she's got uh, a very strong volleyball background. Of course, she played it all through her high school and college career. Uh, her assistants are longtime assistants for Montgomery College, Dan Smith and Rich Carter. Both of them have been uh, assistants through several mm -hmm. coaches' tenures. Um, previous coach, Tori Keno, who was at Montgomery College for six, seven years, mm -hmm. took the team to nationals three times during her stay here. She left because the job opened up at her alma mater, your alma yeah, mater. Yeah, my alma mater as well. Yeah, yeah. Magruder High School. So uh, we miss Tori, but uh, Patty Westenberg is a great uh, replacement for her. And uh, the Westenberg era is off to a good start. Like you said, the Raptors are 7-2 and two overall. So now that we've kind of set the stage for you, I'm sorry, seven and three overall, three and two in Maryland Juco. Uh, but they're five and one in September, which. Hey, this is a, the weather's cooling down, but not for them, it's been a hot month. Yeah, and uh, you know, they started in August and there is an error on the serve by, uh, by, uh, Number 12, Deanna Garcia. Assistant for um, Monroe is Bai Zhang. Monroe off to an early 10-3 lead. Yeah, they have very athletic and explosive players, what I've been noticing. I mean... Yeah, the athleticism appears to be off the charts. We were watching them warm up. <laughs> it was some warm up. Yeah. And it was a good try there by Megan Wessling, but uh, couldn't make the dig. Let's set to, and that is a good look there at number 13 for uh, the Mustangs, uh, Alicia Gallo. Good spike again. 12-3. So and Gallo is, uh, leads the team in digs as we see her get ready to serve. She has 20 aces on the season. Jump serve. There's the set. Good spike and block. And, and that's it. Point. That's a point. Good play by uh, Jana Crocker. Something to build on for MC right here. We get a good look at the front line of Crocker. Number 11 is Ariana Davey, and number nine is Mia Lee. Serving for the Raptors right now, number 12, Deanna Garcia. Ooh, wow. Great dig there by Wessling on a, a missile from Olivo. Another great dig there from Bates, and a, ooh. Look, this is a very Raptors good rally. They're holding their own here. There you go again. Another great play. There's Crocker. Wow, look at this rally. Comes the Levo again. Oh. And that's out off the Raptors. Yeah, by number nine, Olivo with a very powerful spike. Seems to be her specialty. Yeah, yeah she, uh, she has 166 kills so far this season. Oh, my. So uh, look out. She leads the team in that statistic. Oh. Good effort there by Megan Wessling. Boy, she sacrificed herself. Yeah, can I just say how, you know, I, I grew up playing soccer on the grass and, you know, the turf, and falling on there is painful for me. So 
the way that they're moving and diving on the on the hardwood is is incredible. Yeah, it 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 is something. And they got that one back on the free ball. And Wesling and, and a point for the Raptors on a violation. Serving for the Mustangs is number six, Martina Villani. One thing you're going to notice right off the bat is how tall this Monroe team is. Height, of course, is a is a huge advantage in uh, in volleyball, particularly at the net. Mm -hmm. And Monroe is they've got a towering team. Great dig by Bates. Lee. By Lee. Here's a set, a back set. Oh. oh. Kill by Olivo again. Darlene's, Darlene's Olivo is a freshman. And she can get up there. We were watching her in warm ups. Yeah, she seems very high. There's the serve. Good dig. Set. Wesling has it blocked. Crocker Ooh. from the back row. Serving right now for uh, the Mustangs is uh, number four, Re Rebecca Rossoulette. Rossoulette. She's also a freshman. There's the set. Lee out. Another point for the Mustangs. They lead 18-5. We're in the first set. For those of you unfamiliar with volleyball, it is a best out of five situation. Mm -hmm. Whoever gets three wins first, of course, takes the match. Should it go to a fifth set, the fifth set is a 15-point set versus the normal set, which is 25. 25 points wins the set. You must win it by two. But if it does go five sets, then it becomes a 15-point set. Number 11, Ariana Davey with the, oh, there's a nice dig. And a big kill there by number 12, Zuquelo. Gabriela Zuquelo. Nineteen six. Monroe definitely controlling uh, the first set. Soto on the serve line. She got eight aces this year. Good dig there. Bates with the dig, and there Wesley we with the kill. So, Malena Bates, Malena Bates with the nice set. And Wessling with the kill. Checking in for the Raptors now is number 13, Anna St Stanojevic. Anna Stanojevic. Good serve. And she is a sophomore outside hitter. 27. Getting ready to serve is number three, Francesca Anderon. I'm going to repronounce that, Andrion. 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 Oh, that's out. out. That's out. So that's a service error. Point to eight. the Raptors. And Wesling back on the service line for Montgomery College. There's a wow. Break wow, what a stop. What a save there by Lee on a missile. Little dink in a dig. Oh, didn't get there, though. A great effort. Great effort by Bates. Bates is a freshman. Raptors have, it's pretty even between freshman and sophomore. Last year's Raptors team, of course, won Maryland Juco. They won Region 20. They won the districts, and they also went to nationals. And that is out. Yeah, I think the experience of, 
of having some of the coaches um, from the previous years that have gone to nationals still here at MC mm -hmm. is definitely a bonus for them as it can help with experience and, you know, knowing what it takes to get to that national uh, championship. Yeah, you know, we, we the team does not have a new head coach in uh, Patty Westenberg, but, of course, Dan Smith and Rich Carter have been uh, there forever. Uh, and uh, they've been to nationals with a couple of different coaches. Mm. So... Wow. Three trips by Tori Keno, and then two trips by her predecessor, Amir uh, Mafinajad, who was here for quite some time. I want to say Amir was here for at least five, six years. Here's a real good look at uh, Melena Bates, the server. And she's got 12 aces this year. Nice dig by Lee. And... Violation on Monroe, so that puts Bates right back on the service line. Jump serve, and a good one. Ooh, oh, wow. Off of Lee, that thing had some speed on it. Yeah, it's hard to get those days when those spikes are coming in super fast. As we said, it's a very, very athletic Mon uh, Monroe team. Number 13. Gallo back on the uh, service line. Here's the set. And Crocker, nice oh. save. Here comes a back attack from Wesling, too long. Twenty-four nine. This could be this could be a set point it right can. here. Yep. Gallo, another long deep serve. Could oh. Oh. Ah, just out, just out. Stanojevic almost kept it in there. So the first set goes to Monroe, twenty-five to nine. So we've got a, uh, a break here between sets. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. on the Rockville campus of Montgomery College. And as you just saw, tomorrow uh, the Raptors are hosting a tri-match. Mm -hmm. Raptors will be, uh, it's the Montgomery College Raptors, the Carroll Community College Lynx, Link, and one of the Raptors' biggest rivals, the Potomac State Catamounts. And the Raptors will be playing at 11 o'clock against uh, Potomac State. The middle game is Carroll versus Potomac State. Yep. And then the Raptors will wrap up the action with a match uh, versus Carroll County. Yeah. So, big day of uh, volleyball tomorrow, Andre. It we is. We will be here. Yes, we will be here. We will be through all the games. So, I'm excited. You excited? I'm excited <laughs> because I'll tell you one thing. Yeah. You don't want to miss that first game of the day tomorrow, Montgomery College against Potomac State. That, I don't know what it is, but that game, that match is always a good rivalry game. It's always a rough game, a physical game, as physical as volleyball can be. Yeah. Uh, Potomac State tends to bring fans with them. They are very rabid. Yep. yep. And uh, so it, it could get interesting. Yeah. Here. I've, I've over the years of covering um, MC Volleyball, some of the best matches were against Potomac State. So we got to mark that in our calendars. 11 a.m. tomorrow. Yes. It's going to be excellent. Yes. Just in case you guys do want to um, watch that via stream, MCTV Social is a place that you can go and you can watch um, the live stream on YouTube. And that's at MCTV Social on 
all social media platforms, as well as you can see things that are going on throughout Montgomery College, um, things about student life, um, events throughout the campus, sports, uh, many different things will be on um, our social media channels. So make sure you do go to MCTV Social on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook to get all your Montgomery College information. I encourage everyone to check those uh, various sources out because it is, there's a lot of great stuff on there. Uh, Montgomery College Television is really, they just, they just keep stepping up their game. And, um, and, and the quality and the, and the variety and the depth of the product is just, uh, it's just really, really great to see. And uh, it, it's, a great, um, it's a great way to get to learn about the college, to find out what's going on, to find out what the place is all about. And, um, and there's a lot of athletic information. A lot. To be had. Yeah, a lot. All the sports. Um, it's a great place to go and see. There's a lot of promos that go out as well that highlight and showcase all the athletes. It's very awesome, very cool. And we're always excited to uh, help out the student athletes as much as possible. Yeah, they work so hard. And, uh, you know, it, when I was here full time, it was, a, it was a real thrill of mine to be able to cover Montgomery College athletics. And, uh, and the, the other thing is that the athletes really appreciate it. They do. They, they love to know that, that they're not just playing in a vacuum mm -hmm. and uh, that, the, you know, they're – their efforts are, are being um, publicized and promoted throughout the college because they're a big part of college life here. They are. Athletics are a huge part of it. So we are all set to get uh, underway here in set number uh, two. And as the Raptors uh, drop the first one, 25-9, uh, on the service line for Monroe is Francesca Andrian. And we're underway. The whistle from the top judge for a tough serve. There's the set. Here comes the kill. Oh, great dig. Nice dig. Go deep with it. Andrian. The dink. Ooh. Another great dig by Bates. It's a great rally so far. Excellent rally. Oh. oh. Good effort. This really good, good effort by yeah. the Raptors on that one. Yeah, coming to the set really strong. Alex Thayer really put her body on the line there. Just couldn't quite come up with it. So there's Andrea again. She's got a tough serve. Here comes the oh, Andrea oh, just goes wow. quickly over. That even tricked me. That was a little <laughs> bit of a sleight of hand yeah. there. Everybody was looking for the set, and yeah. she just said, no, I'm going to dink it over. That was smart. That was very smart. I'm going to dink it over. So she is tough from that service line. Here she is again with the set. Ooh. Olivo wow. from the back. Back line attack. And she put it away. So, Andrian back on the service line. She's got 11 aces on the season. I'm surprised she doesn't have more. But again, they play an incredibly difficult schedule. There's a big kill. By number 12, Zuquello. Gabriella Zuquello. So Andrian's got a nice run going here. Four straight points to start the second set. She sets it. And there's, there's, nice there job go. there in the middle by the Raptors. That was number 14, Olivia Wright, with that block. And that puts Wessling on the service line. And that's out as uh, Brownstoffer had it blocked. 
Well, couldn't quite clear the net with it. Yeah. And over and out of bounds it went. Another serve by Wessling. Andrian Braunstoffer can't get it over. She's unhappy with herself. She's a tall one. So Wessling now has a little run of her own going. Uh. And that's too long. But the Raptors got back into the set. It's 5-3. Very good plays uh, so far by Olivia Wright on the net so far. Jaquello on the uh, service line. Bates with the set. Ooh, Rocker. Olivo. Olivo again. Bates uh, dives for it, can't come up with it. Malena Bates is uh, tops on the team with 116 digs, but she just couldn't come up with that one. And that puts uh, Zuquelo back on the line. 6-3, second set. Little miscommunication there. That was a tough, tough serve. Wrestling. Ooh, and ooh. There's a set by Bates. Crocker. Wow. Zuquello. Wow. Boy, she had something on that one. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't want to get hit in the face with one of those. No, not at all. She is sticking on the team in kills, so uh, she is definitely one to look out for. Oh, yeah. For the rest of the game. Yeah, they Those are, months. they are, well, you know, we talked about their height. They have a ton of kills. Yeah, and with the height and then them being able to jump so high as well, I mean, yeah, being able to basically spike it down instead of, you know, more of like an angle, if you can get it like straight down, that's almost impossible. Oh, it's almost it. impossible. Uh, Oliva leads the team with 166 kills. Duquelo is second with 135, and then Braunstuffer with 88. Good block. Helped set up this. Back set. Oh. Out. Long. Contrast that with the Raptors. Wessling leads with 98 kills. Davey with 64, and Wright with 56. Mm -hmm. Now. Having said that, yeah. Monroe has played more games. They have played more matches. They've oh, played, that's a good try. They've played 15 matches this year to MC's the Raptors' 10. 10. So, you know. Add a couple to, more there, and then it's almost It's not even. really apples to apples. Yeah. Yeah. Not really apples Definitely to apples. Definitely not Granny Smiths to the Granny Smiths. <laughs> a little reference to last night's soccer game <laughs> where a mysterious apple appeared on the on the pitch. <laughs> we still haven't gotten to the bottom of that one. <laughs> it's the case of the uh, Granny Smith apple. <laughs> the legend. <laughs> How did the goalkeeper for Frederick end up with a Granny Smith apple in his hand? <laughs> you had, and you didn't have to be there to think uh, this is crazy. Olivo. Great stop. There's Wessling from the back line. Gallo. Ooh. Oh, Bates. Gallo. Oh, once again, Andrian with that little dink. That can be tricky. Very you're, you're, tricky. You're waiting for the set or you're waiting for someone to run up and spike it. A little dink over. That's going to be difficult to stop as well, especially if you're not expecting it. It's a smart move, it and uh, it, it's, uh, you know, it's just smart move. Because you're not expecting it. No, not at all. And that was Reynoso <laughs> with the point. I haven't called her name today. Uh, Doriangelis Serrano Reynoso, number two. Very international team that uh, Monroe has assembled. No dink that time, and 
That is the captain of the team, Isabella Waz, with the, uh, with the kill. And that'll put Gallo now on the service line as uh, Monroe has built a 10-point advantage here in the second uh, period. Raptors just couldn't get to it. It found that, uh, that uh, void in the middle of their defense, and the Raptors just, uh, just couldn't get to it. Yeah, Mon Monroe's getting on a little bit of a run here. So yeah, I know that are. MC's looking to kind of stop that momentum. Raptors were in it at 4-3, uh, at and it's been all Monroe since. Great dig there by the Raptors. Number three, Kelsey Alfaro. She's got 38 digs this year. Very solid. But it is 16-4. Substitution in now for... Uh, Monroe, number 24, Ma Marie Lenny Polanco. Marie Lenny Polanco. She caught our eye when she first came in. She's unbelievably tall. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, serving for the Raptors now, Deanna Garcia, number 12. And she has nine service aces this year. Can she add another? Ooh. Oh. Olivo with the kill. I mean, I don't know how you stop that. It's like a... What are we going to compare it to? It's like LeBron James running down the paint or like, I don't know, Barry Bonds hitting a home run. I know. It's it's just automatic. It, you know, she's such an athlete. All right, so Reynoso now on the uh, service line for Monroe. Wrestling, Lee has it blocked by Polanco and Andrian. Andrian is uh, having quite the match. She is. Reynoso back on the service line again. Deep serve. It's a set up and it's blocked for the point. 19-5. Again, it's best out of five sets. First four sets to 25. Should a fifth be necessary is to 15. But uh, Monroe closing in on taking the second set. Here comes the set. It's going to be Lee, and it's blocked right back wow. for a point by Polanco. And Reynoso living back there on the, uh, on the service line. Polanco, I don't know how you get one through her. If her timing is, is right, I don't know how you're going to get one through her. Yeah, especially with her hands up in the air. I mean, towers over the net. Oh, there is Another again. dink That's by Andrea. Dink. She has pulled that off, what, three, four times yep. so yep. far tonight. And the Raptors uh, have been fooled every time. And the thing is, when you're spiked, you know, when the team's able to really get those sets going, and get good spikes on the ball, that dink works even better because you're expecting, oh, absolutely. you know, uh, 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 you're expecting Olivio to really go and get another spike, but then because of that, you're not expecting the dink. It's really the element of surprise. Exactly. So wrestling long with her attempt, it's it's one of those things. You get one thing going, another thing will open up. Yep. So 22-5 now. Reynoso may just serve out this set. Crocker, Polanco, oh. and it's off Alfaro, and that makes it 23-5. Polanco, or uh, I'm sorry, Reynoso back on the service line again. She has been there for a while. She has lived back there. 
It's about, uh, she scored six straight from the service line. Lee's shot, no good. So we've got another 23-6. Uh, Reynoso still back there. Seven straight points from the uh, service line. Wow. She had a lot on that one. Lee, nice dig by the uh, Monroe. Here's Olivo. Oh. Wow. Man, that was dangerous. 24-6. 24-6. So this is uh, set point. There's Crocker. And there's Reynoso. Point to Monroe, set to Monroe. So they take the second set, 25-6. And we're gonna take a short break as the Raptors find themselves down two sets to none. We'll be right back with the third set after this. And we are back at courtside here on the Rockville campus of Montgomery College. Good look there at the uh, uh, Monroe head coach, Neftali Delgado-Reyes. And uh, as we said, he's a longtime coach there his 11th season. There's a good look at the Raptors huddle. Uh, the coach with his back to us there is Rich Carter. Rich has been uh, an assistant. There's on the left there is our head coach, uh, Patty Westenberg. And next to uh, Patty is longtime assistant Dan Smith. And uh, the woman in, uh, in all black there is a longtime athletic uh, department trainer here at Montgomery College, Carrie Steele Loy. I know you were, uh, Andre, uh, for those of you who uh, don't remember, uh, played soccer here, so. Yep. Andre spent his uh, fair amount of time in uh, in Kerry Steel under Kerry Steel Loy's care. <laughs> yes, a lot While of you were uh, here. A lot of wrapped ankles and ice bags on the knees, which I'm sure you know the the uh, these ladies here, volleyball ladies know exactly what I'm talking about. So, Kerry has been uh, with Montgomery College for for a very long time, and a very valued member of the athletic department. So we get a good look at the Raptors huddle. And, uh, you know, what does a coach say when you find yourself down two and two decisively, uh, two de decisively uh, decided um, sets? It's, it's a little rough. Yeah, I mean, all they can coach, all you can really say is win the next one. You win know? the next one. And then after that one, you want to win the next one. I mean, yeah, they're down by two, but it's like we can't really look at the things uh, from the past because if you do, then well, you're going to be looking towards losing again. No, you got to put uh, you got to put the two sets in the rearview mirror. Yeah, short term uh, memory. So it's like, look, let's go and point by point. It's up to 25. Every point is a goal. Exactly. It is a, you know you try to just keep building points. Uh, obviously, she has seen things. Uh, that we don't see, yeah. that her team can improve upon uh, in terms of strategy, in terms of reaction, in terms of, you know, trying to defend against a team that is unbelievable in terms of the way they hit. Yeah. So yeah. All, all they can really do is say, hey, it's a fresh new set right here. Let's get one, let's get two, and they work up to 25. So. Right. So... We hope it's not the case, but this could be the third and final set. Again, it's best out of five, and the Raptors are trailing two sets to none. Number 
It's a good turnout for an afternoon uh, contest. I would definitely say that the students probably try to schedule their classes on Fridays if they schedule them for Fridays in the morning. So <laughs> yes, yes, I, I even I remember those days. <laughs> you know, back when I was, uh, you know, there was no electricity and I was sitting <laughs> in front of the fire with my uh, with my slate. You know. <laughs> oh man! But. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, at Friday afternoon, come on. That's, you know, well, really, Friday starts Thursday night yeah, when you're so, in college. Exactly. Let's, so, let's face it. Yeah, so you definitely want to schedule those classes, uh, not for Friday, but if you do, yeah, get them out the way. Get them out of the way by noon, and and then you got the weekend ahead of you. Yeah, come watch a MC volleyball game. Yep, yep. It's a great sport to watch, um, no matter what the score is. The athletic talent. The, the ability, the drive, the desire. I mean, you talked about it earlier, the diving on this floor. Uh, that's not for me. No, 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 not for me either. So, uh, Deanna Garcia on the, on the line there. And number 12, Sequelo put it away. So it's quickly 1-0. And that's uh, Figueroa. Kiera Figueroa. Ooh, oh, ace. Bates, Bates could just not come up with that. That, that, was a, that serve had something on it. I mean, it was just dying. Right over the net as well. It was, a, it was perfect. Here it comes. And the Raptors can't handle it. It, uh, it clipped the top of the net, which is, which is legal. Um, and uh, that kind of threw the, the path of the ball off. The Raptors couldn't come up with it. So Figueroa back there again. She likes that deep, hard serve. And it, they all watched that one. That's what they call the campfire. Yeah, yeah. Where the s'mores, yeah? It just comes down in between, and there's four or five of them yep. standing around like they're looking at a campfire. <laughs> I like that. One of my favorite volleyball terms. <laughs> Crocker with the serve. Oh, Big hit, but way too deep by Zaquello. So Crocker back on the service line. Jana Crocker is a freshman. Nice serve, Olivo. Here comes Aquello again. Nope. Wow, great dig. Nice dig by Bates. And that, a long attack there from the side by Wessling to give the point to uh, Monroe. That puts uh, number 12, Aquello, on the service line. Deep serve. They, I, I, that appears to be their style. Hard deep oh, serve. Wow. Olivo with another kill. She leads the team and kills, and we see why. Yeah, they're not just powerful, but they're also very accurate. She kind of aims them, you know, where no one is, and that's exactly yes. what you want to yep. do. And she goes, tries to go deep with them, yep. which makes it extremely difficult. Oh, good job. Way to read the, that. The roof is in play here, in case you're wondering. Yeah. And it did hit the rafters, but uh, it's in play. So we want to remind you again, uh, tomorrow uh, we've got a tri-match coming up, the Raptors tri-match invitational. Uh, we get underway at 11 o'clock uh, with the Raptors taking on Potomac State. The second uh, match of the day is uh, uh, will be at approximately 1 o'clock, and that will be Potomac State against Carroll Community College. And then the final match of the day will be the Raptors taking on Carroll. So a full day of volleyball at Montgomery College tomorrow, but we're not done here yet. So that puts Gallo on the uh, service line again for the Mustang. She had a good run last set. 
deep Ooh, again. Great dig, great dig, dig by Wessling. The block. Oh, nice block. Good job. Excellent block by Olivia Wright. She's got 29 blocks. Well, she had 29 blocks coming in uh, for the season coming into uh, tonight. Yeah, second on the team. There's a serve by Thayer. Little dink. Blocked. Right again. again. Olivia Wright. So Alex Thayer on the service line. Oliva digs it out. Here she comes for the kill. And that's point right, uh, to uh, Monroe. the Mustangs. Monroe. Mustangs are from the Bronx, New York. They have an outstanding athletic program up there. The D1, of course. There's the serve, Wesley. Here comes Wesley for the swooping in. Save. Ding, ding. There's a set. Oh, that's in. Really good shot by Wessler. And checking in for the Raptors is uh, number seven, Mariela Migos. And she will go to the service line as Wessling takes a seat briefly, I'm sure. Yeah. She's been playing very well today, helping out her team. Good serve, Soto. Wow, this, oh, nice try there by Alex Thayer. Talk about sacrificing yourself. And on the uh, service line is uh, Russellette for Monroe. Olivo checks out for Monroe. Comes to serve. And Crocker has it blocked. 11-6. Russellette back on the line. Another deep serve. Here comes the set. Bates. Ooh, wow, what a save by Bates. What a dig. Oh, there's a there's an unforced error there that you don't see a whole lot by Russell Watt. Point to the Raptors. This is the chance for them to make a little run here. And they're still close, only down by four. He's got Bates on the line who has 12 service aces on the season coming into today. Oh, wow, what a block. block. Great block there by Davey. Crocker, it's a good point. Oh, oh wow. Number 12, Zaquello really put that one away. Two diving Raptors were defenseless. Just couldn't come up with it. So that puts uh, Diaz on the uh, service line. This is the first we've seen her today. Uh, Mariela Diaz. And she puts it into the net for a service error. And she's quickly replaced by Gallo, the libero. For those of you unfamiliar with uh, volleyball, the, uh, each, each side has a player with a different colored jersey on. And those, that position is called the libero. They are the defensive specialist. They are not allowed to attack offensively.
Boy, that was a lot of tough action there at the uh, at the net as uh, as uh, the Mustangs pick up the point, and that'll put Andrian back on the uh, service line. She uh, has had an excellent match. She has for Monroe. She had a great service run in set number two. Oh, wow! Stoyanovich. Great dig. Ooh, good we'll save again. Oh. Goes. Oh, good effort there by Crocker, but she couldn't come up with it. She dove. Wow. A little bit of like soccer as well there. Little kick. And there's Andrian. Ooh. Nice dig. Well, Bates tried to dig it out, couldn't come up with it. Good look there at uh, Malena Bates. And Wright checks back in for the Raptors. Along with number three, Kelsey Alfaro. Alfaro with a nice dig. Garcia got it over. Oh, oh. tried to dig it out, just couldn't do it. Deanna Garcia. And Andrian will remain on the service line. She kind of turned the tide in the second set, too, with her serves. And then uh, her teammate Reynoso came in and served out the rest of the set. She does. And she gets the ball right above the net into kind of that area where the libero is. It makes it a little bit more difficult sometimes because the communication has to be perfect for that, uh, you know, that first uh, dig to kind of start the set going. Yeah. Communication is a big part of success in volleyball. Yeah, everyone's so close. You know, the, the once again. Here come, ooh, Davey tried to dink it over, but it was blocked back for another point for Monroe. Good look at Davey, Ariana Davey. Sophomore uh, middle blocker, Andrian. Oh. And that's long. That's her first service error of the day. And that'll put uh, Crocker, Jana Crocker, on the uh, service line. And that's long. Well, here's Reynoso again. This is what happened last set. Mm -hmm. She served out the set after uh, taking over for Andrian. Nice uh, dig by Crocker, a long shot. Good block by the Raptors, but it goes out of bounds. Wesling and, um, and Davies with the block, but a little too long. So Reynoso. Back on the service line again. She's been unerring so far. Oh. Gonzala, or Garcia tried to uh, dink it over. It was a little short. It's a good attempt, though. They've, the dinks have been working. Actually, they gave it. Nope. Uh, scoreboard is wrong. Yeah, I, I was going to say. They gave the point to the Raptors. So, uh, Reynoso. Deep. Out. Oh. I may have jinxed her. <laughs> commentator curse. Yeah, commentator curse. And that puts Davey on the service line. She's got 15 service aces this year. That's pretty so, solid. Second on the team. Polanco. Garcia. Polanco. Polanco with the kill and the point. And Polanco checks out. And that'll put Gallo back on the service line. 22-10. Again, this the third set. Should Monroe take it, that would be the conclusion of the match. It's best out of five sets, and Monroe has won the first two. And that goes out off of 
Number 13, Stan Stanojevic. Good look at Wright. And a good look at Gallo. Number 13. Tough serve. Here comes the set. Wessling for the point. Got it through the block. Powered it through the block. Off of Waz. A little run by MC right here. Exactly what they're looking for. And that'll put Thayer on the uh, service line. Alex Thayer, sophomore setter. One of the more experienced players on the Raptors team. Comes the set. And Ooh. great save there. Great dig. Good Crocker job. gets it over. Great defense. Great block by Wright. Here comes the set. Who's going to take it? Crocker does. Not exactly what the Raptors had in mind. Oh, and there's a kill. Big wow. kill by Waz. Very powerful. So that brings up Eight. set, match point, and that puts number one, Tara Rakovic, on the uh, on the service line. First we've seen Tara today, Tara Rakovic. And there's the serve, and that is the match. As, the, uh, as Monroe takes the third set, 25-11, and they take the match three sets to none, so. Andre, it, I can't say we're surprised, um, but I'm sure the Raptors learned a lot from this match. Of course. I mean, you know, if you want to be the best, you have to play the best. You have to play very good teams. So I know for a fact that they have, uh, they're going to take away a lot from this. They're going to learn from this, and they're just going to bounce back in the next game. Yeah, it's, uh, it's clearly, uh, you know, as we said earlier, it's a barometer game. It's a way to gauge where you're where your team is at this point in the season. And more importantly, it's a challenge game because the Raptors are a D1 team. Mm -hmm. And they, if they go to Nationals, they're going to play. Every team is going to be like Monroe. Exactly, exactly. So and why not play them now, yeah? Exactly. And also, as they progress through the postseason, once they get to districts, once they get to regionals, they're going to be playing these types of teams. So... I think it's a it's a it's a good call on the Raptors' part. Uh, Patty Westenberg uh, was very definite before the match. She said, "Listen, we know we're up against it here today, but uh, this is the kind of team we need to get experience playing." Yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember my days of playing as well. It's like you always want to get to that next level. You need to play the next level. You need to see what they're good at. You need to take things that you've seen that they're good at into your experience. Take it to practice. From there in practice, you want to then apply into the games. So this was a great challenge. I know they didn't win today, but sometimes I wouldn't say a loss is a win, but you can learn a lot from a loss. So they're going to take what they learned from here move forward. And I got to say, we are very impressed with the Monroe team. They are, uh, they've got uh, a great squad, and they've got I, – I look forward to, to big things from them for the rest of the season. So once again, the Raptors drop it in three straight sets. But again, they come right back here tomorrow. Yep. Uh, we've got a try match tomorrow, uh, starting at 11 a.m. right here on uh, in Rockville, the Rockville campus of Montgomery College. There you see it right there. Uh, it starts at 11 o'clock. The mm -hmm. Raptors will play Potomac State. Uh, the match following that will be Potomac State against Carroll Community College. Yep. And then the Raptors will finish up the day by playing Carroll Community College. Uh, in the third and final match of the day. So we're going to be right back here. Uh, Andre and I, uh, we're looking forward to it. We hope you all will join us. And thanks so much for watching Montgomery College Volleyball on MCTV.